You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hole Barbecue. In today's video, you'll learn how to make Wagyu pot roast. You're gonna love this recipe. This Wagyu pot roast with all the ingredients costs around $20. Now it'll serve four good meals. A trip out to eat for two can easily cost that much. For our ingredients, I'm using a top round Wagyu roast that's one and a half pounds. I've got one and a half pounds of baby gold potatoes. 12 ounces of washed and ready to eat carrot sticks, one yellow onion, one red onion, two cloves of garlic, four ounces of Kerrygold butter, got some beef broth, cooking oil, salt, and black pepper. For our cooking instructions, you want to add the salt and black pepper to the Wagyu roast. Now add a small amount of cooking oil to your skillet or Dutch oven and on medium high heat, you want to brown that roast on both sides and all edges. Adjust your heat down to low and cover it and cook for 30 minutes. While you're waiting on that 30 minutes to be up, go ahead and prepare your vegetables. Start by washing the potatoes and cutting to uniform pieces. Now cut up the onions into uniform chunks. Add all the vegetables to a large bowl and add in your salt and pepper and give it a mix. After that roast is cooked for 30 minutes, then we want to add the vegetables and then cook covered on low heat. You want to check the roast in 30 minute intervals and give the vegetables a stir and check that liquid level. Because as the vegetables cook down and the roast renders out the fat, then that liquid was going to climb. If it starts climbing on you, you want to pour off the liquid. This is where you can save it for gravy. After you pour it all off, add in back just a small amount of beef broth. Keep in mind that the liquid level is supposed to be low so that everything steams and it doesn't boil. So continue cooking on low heat, and when the temperature reaches around 185, 190, add several pats of butter to the top of your veggies and to the roast. The target temperature is 202 degrees or slightly above. So just grind it out on low heat until it's done. So this low and slow approach will make it fork tender. Now transfer everything to your serving platter and then enjoy one of the best pot roasts you ever made you'll notice the Wagyu difference. You can find the recipe in the description at YouTube. Hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.